Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my new food channel. Um, let's get started and make some homemade protein bars that are very healthy, delicious and have low calories. All right guys, just to get started, we're gonna put three quarters of peanut butter uh, in this little saucepan that I have here. This saucepan actually allows me not to burn anything. If you don't have a, a designated saucepan, then you can use a bowl and heat it up over simmering water in a pot. Um, but for this video, I'm gonna use my own little saucepan that I have. I'm gonna use three quarters of this peanut butter. It's extra creamy. It's from uh, the independent supermarket store if you live in Canada. I think they're amazing. It's one of the best peanut butter in the market, in my opinion. It's super creamy and apparently, there's nothing in here that is really bad for you and the calorie count is quite low as well. I think it's almost very dodgy. Um, I don't know how they, they managed to make this peanut butter super smooth and super silky creamy without adding anything crazy in there. But here you can see, this is almost like a Nutella texture. Uh, I think it's great and it tastes great, it's insane. Just link that, fill it right in here. Make it almost full. Now tell me this is not satisfying. All right, next we're gonna be adding a third cup of honey. I use this one. It's uh, Manuka honey. It's got the active ingredients that, you know, the healthy Manuka honey has from New Zealand. Um, I'm not actually gonna measure it accurately. I'm just gonna, you know, do it as much as I think is necessary to put it in here. And if you wanna be very accurate, then of course you have to measure it. Uh, I, however, don't really care. So I'm just gonna put as much as I think is sufficient. But you're supposed to put one third for it to be sufficiently sweet. Next, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coconut butter. So I use this one, this one is organic. Um, and I ran out of coconut, coconut butter. <laughs> Oopsie, okay, that's not a problem. Instead, I'm gonna be using uh, olive oil. So this is my emergency replacement of my coconut oil. I'm gonna be using olive oil instead, doesn't really matter. I'm Italian anyway, we put olive oil in everything. Olive oil is really healthy too. So two tablespoons of that in here as well. And then what we're gonna be doing now is basically heating the pan up on a super, super low heat. It's only supposed to heat up uh, so that the elements can actually mix and uh, become one substance. Uh, so it's not actually necessary to cook it forever or to actually heat it up to a abnormal hot temperature. This is essentially it. This is how it's supposed to look like. Uh, right now, it looks like basically liquid caramel, which is really sexy, I have to say. I mean, look at this. Look at this soft, smooth texture right there. This is so satisfying. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. That's how it's supposed to look like. You're not supposed to heat it up any more than that. Alrighty, so let's continue by transferring this into a pot. So this pot here. Next, we're gonna be using two cups of oat flour that I have already prepared here. I'm gonna use already prepared oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, you could theoretically just buy normal oats and grind them up and make your own flour. I prefer to just buy it so you don't have to do the extra work. Um, but you put two cups of oat flour into your mix. Next, we're gonna be using the key ingredient, which is my protein powder. 
I'm really fond of this brand because they're not using anything bad. Uh, there's literally no chemicals in here. It's pretty natural. Um, it tastes really, really good as well. So we're going to be using two scoops for the mix. Put two scoops of whey protein into the mix. Just like this. We're also going to be using three tablespoons of milled flax seeds. Three tablespoons. So in the next step now we're going to put some cinnamon. Um, here you can really put as much as you want. Um, you should start with either uh, a quarter of a teaspoon is the minimum. And then you can go as crazy as you want. I don't know how, how much you really like cinnamon. I like it more, so I'm probably gonna put around half a spoon or an entire teaspoon of cinnamon powder. It's really up to you. Um, I, I like it personally a lot. I think it's, uh, it, it adds great flavor to the, uh, to the protein bars and it's also really healthy, so. And we're gonna put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt um, I'm just going to use uh, just, just table table salt. Add that in there. Put a little bit of a little bit extra. I like it when there's a little bit of salt in there. Just adds more flavor. I know it's not the healthiest, but whatever. And then we're going to add some chocolate. Again, you can put as much as you want. Uh, uh, it's recommended to start off with a third cup of, of chocolate chips. I mean, you can put as much as you want. I'm probably going to put exactly a third because I don't want too much sugar in my, uh, in my protein bars. I want it to be lean and healthy. Uh, it's, it's just supposed to be a daily kind of healthy artisanal snack that you can make at home, which tastes really, really great. Alrighty, as a last step now, we're gonna mix everything together that we have in this little bowl here. And then this is gonna create our final dough. done in the end literally is I added a little bit of water because when you see that the consistency is a little bit dry um, you want to add a little bit of water just to make really dough out of it and it's gonna look basically like cookie dough uh, like now and then what we're gonna be doing next is put this on a tray and then we're gonna leave it in the fridge for one hour I only found this tray so I'm gonna be making some very skinny looking protein bars which is probably gonna suck, but whatever, it's the only thing we have right now.
this is uh, another technique that I use sometimes. Is I just fold the baking paper, and then it's very easy to create those these smooth, the smooth edges. Alrighty, so we prepared the dough. Uh, the dough looks pretty excellent, I'd say. To solidify this, I'm going to put it for exactly five minutes in the oven. It's 200 degrees Celsius. And uh, just, just for it to uh, solidify, I don't want the chocolate pieces to completely melt. I'm literally just going to put it in for five minutes so that the shape doesn't, doesn't crumble. And then I put it in the fridge for uh, an hour or so. And then we can cut the shape and it should all look fucking amazing. So just to show you guys the texture of the cookie. Um, before you think, what is this on my nail? This is cookie dough right there, okay? So don't think anything else. Anyways, um, look how soft. I don't know if you can tell, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is exactly what we wanted. So it's already the next day. Um, to be very honest with you guys, I already tried the bar last night while I was watching Netflix. Unfortunately, I was too tired to take a video. Um, the bar itself was really, really good. Uh, I, I was planning on having one instead, I had five. That's how good it was. Uh, I think the consistency was, was actually amazing. Uh, inside it was pretty gooey, outside it was nice and, and not crunchy, but it had that, that texture to it that's just perfect when you bite inside of the cookie or the bar. I'm gonna call it the cookie bar. Uh, the only thing that I would probably change for next time is to add a little bit more honey and uh, put less salt because I think it was a little bit too salty. Uh, it, it wasn't salty by any means, I just thought that the salt was a little bit too dominant. Um, but I also have certain ideas to add some hazelnut and maybe some oat milk for next time, see what happens. Uh, it's, it's, I'm basically going to record my first trial next week see how that goes and maybe it's gonna taste better. Nevertheless, I, I thought it was probably gonna be a more honest review uh, to try the, the bars the next day to see if the consistency is still that good. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna have uh, my first bite now. All right guys, I got the bars here. They're still looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see it in the camera properly. This is how they look like. Still feels quite gooey actually. The inside, wow. The texture is really, really interesting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, maybe if I try to crumble, crumble it a little bit. Hmm, it's really good. Mm. As I said, like the, the aftertaste is a little bit of you just taste it, there's a little bit too much salt. Uh, but the taste itself is really good. The consistency changed, it's not gooey inside anymore. Now it literally has the, the almost the same texture as a protein bar, uh, just, just the meat without the sh chocolate covering on top. Um, so you have that very similar taste. It's almost like a, I don't know how to describe it. it it's almost like, you know, those, those Christmas cookies, uh, the same texture but it's a full on protein bar and it's super healthy. I mean, there's, there's oatmeal in there, uh, there, there's flax seeds in there, there's manuka honey. Um, we have cinnamon, which is actually very healthy. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. Um, protein powder and all that. So this is for sure a healthy snack. Um, I'm actually just gonna have, I guess, four pieces a day. It should cover uh, my daily amount of what I should be eating. And uh, as I said, next week I'm probably gonna film 
uh, another video where I'm gonna attempt of doing these bars again, but I'm gonna put less salt, I'm gonna put uh, actual coconut oil, I'm gonna put uh, oat, oat milk, and um, I'm gonna put more cinnamon and a little bit more honey. And I'm actually also gonna change the brand of the protein powder. I found another one that probably has a better, better flavor for this kind of product. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna try this at home, uh, have a go at it. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, and tune in for next time.